Sometimes you gotta take a step back to see the bigger picture. Let me explain. Sometimes you're in the mix of whatever's going on in your life and you lose sight of what you're even aiming for. For me, I was doing a bunch of photography, a bunch of photo shoots, video shoots, and I was doing pretty good. Getting photos published in magazines, getting the covers, working with different music video artists. But at the same time, you would think, hey, yeah, you're doing a great job. At the same time, I'm feeling empty and inside. I feel like I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. That's because I lost sight of my bigger picture, what I was really doing it for. See, I got caught up into the accolades and making money that wasn't following my vision. Why I got into doing photography and videography and being a creative in general is because I like telling stories. But the entire time I'm doing all these photo shoot video shoots, I wasn't really telling stories. I was either chasing money or just creating stuff because it looked cool. But for me, I just, it wasn't fulfilling what I was trying to do. So I had to take a step back. You know, working a regular job, did that for about a year and a half. And now we're here. But during that time, I learned some stuff. I learned the process of really figuring out what my bigger picture was and remembering it and my vision. And that was to reassess, realign, and take action. During a reassessment period, you have to acknowledge your life. Look at everything. Look at, hey, am I doing what I really want to be doing? Figure out the things you want to change in your life. Figure out what it is that you want to do. Figure out what motivates you. Ask yourself, are you going in the direction that you want to go in? I believe God gave us all a vision. But sometimes we get so caught up in life that we lose sight of it. Sometimes we also end up wrapping our identity in our creativity or whatever we're doing. And that's not necessarily good. You have high highs and low lows. Things aren't as good or better than the last. You kind of almost feel like depressed. Feel some type of way about it. Kind of throws you off. But during this time, this is the time to actually feel all that and acknowledge that. Once you acknowledge it, you're good. You made the first step. You have to stop holding yourself back. The person you are and the person that you want to be can exist, can't exist at the same time. If you stay holding on to the past you, you'll never become who you truly meant to be. So with that being said, you're going to have to sacrifice some, something. If you feel like you're not going in the direction you need to go, then I mean, something has to change. You got to change something. If you don't change nothing, you just keep going in the same direction. So after this time, I really sat back and reassessed everything. Now it was time to realign. And during this time, probably more than halfway through me working at the job, I'm starting to get this, as you can say, ball of fire. That dwelling inside of me where I'm like, I want to create. I want to create. I know what it is that I want to do. I found my goal. I found my vision again. It was time for me to create. But I realized something too. I realized it has to be balanced. So once you start creating again, or once you start doing whatever it is you truly want to do, have balance in there. Don't be working 24-7. You're going to sleep. You can't even sleep at night because you're in your mind. You're like, dang, I could be working right now. That's not good. You got to have rest days. And on them rest days, you know, it's just like one day a week. Doing that rest day, actually rest. Don't just sit there and be like, for me, it says I'm on the game. I'm playing the game. In the middle of a match, I'm like, dang, man, I could be doing something. Else. I could be here making money or I could be doing this creating. At that point, you're, like, you're not actually resting. You're not taking time to decompress from everything that, you're, that you've done. And then that's going to start building up. That's going to cause you to burn out. Trust me, I've been there. That's why I'm on the break. I was on the break that I was on. Also, start to experience life. Go outside. Don't be cooped up all day. Experience life because at the end of the day, you start experiencing new things. If you're creative, that's going to definitely help with that. For me, I like telling stories. So experiencing life, I can tell better stories because I'll be able to speak from a different perspective. So then once 
you realign, you figure out what it is that you want, you want to do, you have your focus. Now it's time for the final part, and that's to take action. So you're doing this time for me. All right, it's time to start getting stuff down. Start actually going out here shooting. I started writing, scripting. I'm taking action to the goals that I want. So I have um, tons of YouTube videos I did planned out for you guys. That's going to be coming and you'll be seeing soon. Matter of fact, I wasn't even supposed to be doing this video right now. It was supposed to be a whole nother video, but I feel like I was like, you know what? You need to talk about this. You need to put this video out first. You can put out that video out later. But get this out there first because it's going to help somebody. So, hey, that's why I'm here. So just take action. Start. Start even, even small steps. So if you haven't checked out my last video, start. Just start. No matter how small it is, start. At the end of the day, if you got to take a step back, something, do it. Do it if you have to. Just know that you're taking a step back for you. Don't be just stepping back and then, oh, I'm going out of the way. Unless that's what you want to do. But you know what you want to do. And sometimes you got to take a step back, see the bigger picture. A minor setback for a major comeback. That's all it is. Remember remember your goal. Remember what, you, what you're doing it for. Remember what your big picture is. That's it. So that being said, I really hope this video helped you. Like, comment, and subscribe. And also, share if you have any experience or what you're going through down below in the comments or if you can relate. I want you to remember this. Sometimes you have to take a step back to see the bigger picture or slow down to see the vision. But once you see the vision, trust the vision. Peace.